guys. So today I am going to do a car tour of the new car that we got. People have just been dying to get like a real look at what this beast entails. So to start out with, this is a 2016 Nissan NV passenger van. It seats 12 and the seats on the inside, I'll show you, you can maneuver into like, I, I can't remember exactly what the number was, but it was some like ridiculous amount of different arrangements, like 300 different arrangements or some like big number of arrangements. So this thing is huge. It is seven feet tall it's about it's about comparable to like a truck because I don't know if you guys can see but like this is Chris's car this is a Mazda and this is this car so it like it sits significantly higher than just like a normal car does I think Chris was telling me that it's on like the frame of a truck it, it obviously looks significantly bigger than a truck because the whole thing sits up top but it's actually really not that bad i have gotten used to driving it already the main thing is just parking it parking it is the hardest part but thank god i have a backup camera on it because if i didn't i don't know how i would park this thing so i guess i'll just go ahead and like show you guys what i have learned about the car so far what's inside of it and stuff like that um this one is a v6 we were going between getting a v6 and a v8 we ended up going with the v6 because it's better on gas mileage and to be completely honest, I truly have not noticed a huge difference between my minivan and this van for gas mileage. So you'd think it would be like a huge, like massive thirsty beast to freaking drive and the gas mileage would be terrible, but it's really actually not that bad, especially since we got the V6 and not the V8. Exterior here, this is like one of the very few things that I would change about the car. It only has one sliding door, so you can only access the kids on one side. It does not have a sliding door on the other side. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the front in here. So the lighting really sucks in here, but I'll do the best that I can. So driver's seat, passenger seat. The one thing that is really nice about this car is the huge, massive um, sun visors. It's, it might be kind of hard to tell, but like look at how big that is compared to like what the view is left there, huge. The one thing that I really dislike, there are no mirrors on these sun visors. So anytime you wanna like look in the mirror real quick before you run inside to drop the kids off or anything, you have to use this mirror. And this mirror actually did not come with the car. The one that came with the car is that size, significantly smaller. Chris bought this. Um, it's like aftermarket to fit over the mirror. That way we could have a better view. If you, if you look in the back of this thing, you really can't see out the back windows at all. Thank God for the mirrors on the side over there. It has a blind spot mirror and a regular mirror. So I guess just starting up here, the driver's seat is a power seat. So you just push a button and it goes up, down, forward, back, and then leans forward, leans back, all that stuff. And let me actually go around to the other side and it can give you guys a better view of this car. So up in the front right here, you have all of like the gauges and stuff like that. I do not have the car. Maybe I should turn it on. In, you can hear it running. You can see up here with the mirror that we got, you can see like everybody back there. And then up here we have the like little camera thing there and it has the SXM radio and just regular AM, FM, CD, the auxiliary, and it also has navigation, so you can like type in an address that you wanna go to and it'll tell you what's around you and stuff like that. And then it also has a backup camera when you put it in reverse, you can see what's behind you. And what's really nice about this one is that it has sensors. So if you can see here, Whenever you get close to something, it starts beeping at you. Anything in this range at all, it'll beep at you. Because like I said, this thing is huge. So that's really nice. And then it also has the Bluetooth, so you can call from your car, you can talk to people in your car, and then they have just the volume, the tune here, and then this is all the AC here. These are just all like your typical settings that you would see on a car. So this right here, I actually got a aftermarket DVD player put in, um, and that is there, and I'll show you a better view of it we go back there so here you have a USB and then we have another USB plug in here that you could but you could plug in whatever you wanted right there this is so nice this is actually I'll have to show you I don't know like the words for all this stuff so I'm definitely not a car expert I'm just gonna show you guys like what I know about the car but this thing is amazing this is like the center console thing and it is I don't know if you can see how big it is it's huge like we could literally fit Landon in there and we have that's how big it is not to drive let me just say not to drive just for fun so in here I just have a bunch of stuff I have like hand sanitizer and lotion this, this is the 
remote to the DVD player, and then I have like lip gloss tied to go, um, some pens, a bow that Lily wore, just random stuff in here. And then in here I keep wipes, diapers, sunblock, an extra pair of socks, and this is like a trash thing for us to put our trash in there and we can just dump it out. That way, hopefully, the idea is that less trash will be thrown all over the car. So I'll let you know how that works out. You can reach like when I touch the bottom, my, my it goes down to my elbow. That's how big it is. So there is an outlet, like an actual outlet. So I can and have several times already bring my computer and plug it in to charge while we're driving. This is another um, plug in here for just like the regular car outlets. So that is freaking amazing. Yeah, that's what goes in here. Let me put this back. And then on here you can control things like the radio and stuff like that. The volume, the calls, all that kind of stuff. You can see these here. They have the lights there and um, yeah, I'm not sure what else. I don't know all the lingo for this stuff up here, so you can kind of just take a look and see what's on here, but. So when you open this in here, you can see there are three rows in this bad boy. It can fit four seats in the back, three seats in the middle, three seats in the front row or the second row. The nice thing about this car is that it has so many different spots to tether car seats. So we have, this is tethered, this is tethered, this is tethered, and we have been changing around the car seat situation a whole lot. This obviously isn't gonna stay like this for that long because we will need to get another car seat in here, and when Tommy and Caden are here as well, then there's even more seats taken up, but this is kind of what we have right now. So right now we have two in the front, two in the middle because these last seats over here do not have tether spots. So these are both tethered here. So when you come in here, one of the things that I really like about this car is the fact that the AC, I don't know if you can see, is down the middle and not on the sides. So like when it was on the sides, I was always worried about the middle child feeling the air. This one has two in each row as well as a light in each row. And this is just so nice because I feel like no matter what, the middle kid is getting air and then the outside kids are getting air as well. So I just really like the way that that is set up. If you look under here, every single child has their own cup holder. So for every seat, there is a cup holder. Then you can see down here, this is where the seats come out and they actually come out really, really easily. I pulled out the entire half of the back row and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when I go back there. But I pulled it out all by myself and it was pretty heavy, but it was very easy to maneuver. So you'll also notice in here that we did take some of the headrests off and we are, we are keeping them and they will definitely be put back on when we need them to be put on. But right now when they're in car seats, safety wise, um, they don't really need them. We keep them in the car underneath here for if there's an adult in here that needs them. And the re But the reason we took them off is because you cannot see anything out of the back window. Nothing with these headrests. So I'm not sure how that's safe. You can see these windows do pop out, but we rarely pop them out. We usually just leave them shut. The nice thing about this is this super nice like aisle right here. You can walk, like I can leave my seat up here, climb through here, at seven months pregnant and then walk down this way here. And I'm not super tall, so I fit pretty well into here. So when you go over here, there is again, another cup holder and then there's like, like storage there as well. And then there's another plug. And it is surprisingly, I sat in the back row of this a couple times now and there is surprisingly so much room here uh, for like an adult. Like I'm sitting in the car seat right now and I still have room, but there is so much leg space back here. Like you can see, I'm sitting in the second row right now and I can see everything around. Hey babe, can you open the DVD player for me? So this DVD player, let me get my nice little model up there. We just had this put in very recently and I definitely think it was worth it. It's hooked up to our um, auxiliary through the auxiliary cord and see it sounds like a movie theater in here it is pretty epic and the best part about that is that when you're up front we have it set to where it's just in the back and we can have a normal conversation without hearing the movie like that so it was definitely worth it again I'm in the second row like I said and you can see it from pretty much every seat there's only like two seats where you can't see it very well if you're low. So like here's my seat where I'm sitting and then here's the middle seat in the second row and then there's 
the side seat in the second row and then when you go back here the seat actually has one of the best views because nothing gets in the way but you can see it back here as well so you can see it literally throughout the entire car so now that I'm in the back row there is another one of just those like the regular outlets right there so you can pop that open and charge something without using like the weird car plugs we did take one of these um, seats out and the reason we did that is because there is not a whole lot of trunk space in here so I'll go around to the back and I'll show you guys there's normally four seats here so, so we took one of the seats out and now there's only two seats here so this now right now this seats 10 and it seems to work pretty much perfectly with this arrangement like you can fit every one of the kids bikes back here so yeah you can see how spacious how spacious it is back here but I'm gonna go ahead and go around to the back there is a handle here and you have to open this handle in order to get to this handle but it's nice because this stops right here but it has the ability to open all the way so if I want to open it all the way all I have to do is pull this lever here and it's as you can see it unlocks there and then it goes around here and it sticks itself right there and then it's stuck open so that's kind of nice because you can like fold it all the way open without it taking up too much space and then when you pull this here it'll open the second door you can see where the other seats were and how little space there was back here so there's like really not a lot of uh, trunk space at all if you choose to leave that in most of the time 10 seats is just fine and we just have our seats sitting inside of our garage so if at any time we wanted to put it back in we could but like I said a lot of times we'll put bikes here we could literally shop all day long all around our town and everything that we buy <laughs> would fit right here like pretty much this is just a really really nice setup that we have going on and then to shut this you just go back this way it locks back in and then you shut this door and you shut that door just like that and you're all closed up but these are magnetic so that they can clip to there so I think that's actually pretty much it with this car like I said I'm not very like car savvy so I don't know if I'm like missing something or if there's anything that anybody wants to know ask me in the comments below and I will figure out the answer and I'll answer you guys overall I absolutely love this car I had a love-hate relationship with it at first mostly just because I didn't want to be the bus driver but this definitely fits our family and I am so 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 glad that we chose this car over any other car because it just works perfectly it's really not that hard to drive and it's really not that bad on gas mileage so I would recommend it to anybody that has a large family no I'm not sponsored by Nissan or anything like that we just truly love this purchase so anyway that is it for this video guys like I said let me know if you have you have any questions I will talk to you guys for our next video bye